So some wanted to know about a reversible cerebrovascular, cerebrovascular, reversible cerebrovascular syndrome. And the syndrome is reversible because it is vasoconstriction. So vasoconstriction means the vessel's getting smaller, but it's not occluded. And because it's not occluded, the ischemia that follows is reversible. It's characterized by a sudden and severe headache, often described as the worst headache of their life, a thunderclap type of headache, and they might have imaging findings of subarachnoid hemorrhage to go with it. And the way to make the diagnosis is you need an angiogram of some kind, CTA, MRA, catheter angiogram, to show the vasoconstriction. And this is sometimes referred to as Call Fleming syndrome. It's got a number of etiologies. The most common is pregnancy and the postpartum period, but medicines, drugs, migraine, all of these things can cause the same type of problem because it's a dysregulatory, autoregulatory failure problem. And it's a cerebrovascular syndrome because it mimics stroke and seizure. So it's characterized by thunderclap, reversible vasoconstriction, secondary ischemia in the cerebrovascular system. You need an angiogram of some kind. Its eponym is called Fleming. And as its name implies, it's reversible. You can treat it with various types of treatments, but vasodilators are typically uh, used in this setting. And pregnancy is the most common cause of Call Fleming, a reversible vasoconstriction cerebrovascular syndrome.